fucking kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. Now, when I say who's the master, you say What is up guys, show enough the king here back with another video and today we are doing toy news as you guys can tell from the thumbnail we're going to be talking about G.I. Joe, we're going to be talking about Marvel Legends, we're going to be talking about the new price structure. Um, also going to, um, this is going to be a longer video so you know get yourself some coffee, some you know something to drink, you know a little snacky snack. Sit down and have a conversation with your boy, okay? <laughs> all right, so on the agenda today, again, we're gonna talk about all the G.I. Joe reveals, all the new news we got from the new G.I. Joe live stream that aired today. Um, I also wanna go back and talk about, you know, um, this uh, Hell Charger from Ramen Toys. I also want to uh, briefly talk about the current situation with Hasbro and uh, the Marvel Legend team. I also wanna talk about uh, just in general, a big section will be about consumers versus customers. Or, I'm sorry, I, I misspoke. Consumers slash customers versus companies. I definitely think this is a big topic that is causing a lot of issues between uh, YouTubers and influencers and, you know, corporations like Hasbro. And I just kind of wanted to give my own unique perspective from a person who owns their own business, who also sells a product and also who is a consumer, who also buys a variety of items from cheap to expensive. So I definitely think that I have uh, some input that I could, you know, put out there that would help, you know, a lot of people stop with all the drama and fighting and just, you know, crazy stuff. But um, let's get some... Um, Let's get some uh, housekeeping items out of the way. Again, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Uh, you know, YouTube has been uh, tripping lately. <laughs> the views have been down. The subscribers have been down. And again, in all honesty, uh, I have been spending a lot more time on TikTok. I actually do put a lot of content out on TikTok almost daily, if not weekly. Uh, so make sure you guys are following me on TikTok. Uh, again, my TikTok is Show Nuff the King, S H O W N U F F D A K I N G. Uh, also, make sure you're following me on uh, YouTube and all the other social medias, Instagram, Facebook. You guys know the drill. Uh, it takes a lot of work to put these videos out. And, you know, I would appreciate a like or, uh, you know, subscription, you know, a subscription, a subscribe. You know, anything you guys can do is uh, greatly appreciated. All right. So shameless plugs out of the way. Let us get into this discussion. All right, so before I get into all the main, um, before I get into the alternate conversations, you know, ramen toys, Marvel Legends, consumers versus businesses or, you know, things like that, I want to kind of get to the core thing from the video, which is the talk about G.I. Joe, their live stream. So they had a live stream today. This was the probably the first G.I. Uh, G. Joe live stream of 2023. And overall, if I had to grade it on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a solid 9 out of 10. I definitely think the Hasbro um, G.I. Joe team killed it. I think that a lot of the announcements uh, revitalized my love for the G.I. Joe brand. And I, I just, because again, I got to be honest with you guys. Like, again, you haven't seen a lot of content coming from me. Because again, I just have not been interested. Like, the way I do this, again, I told you guys, I don't do this for clout. I don't do this uh, for money necessarily. Of course, I want to, you know, make money, but I don't do this for the clout or the money. I do this because, again, I love the hobby. And I just have not been in a mindset over the past couple of months where I felt like, you know, talking about stuff. Like, again, I've, I've seen things on, you know, on the Internet that, you know, kind of got me perturbed or angry. But, you know, it just like it has, I have not been feeling uh, Hasbro. And again, Hasbro is the probably the biggest toy manufacturer in the on the in the world again they make billions of dollars every quarter so i mean they they make a lot of money so again i just i've been having a lot of issues with their pricing structure so hearing what was going on on this live stream was actually very very beneficial for me it, it actually gave me hope for the other brands and the reason why i say that is is that i am under the impression again i, I do not have any sort of inside scoop or you know prior knowledge 
But I think just like most companies, there are uh, the, the Hasbro, I mean, the Hasbro teams, they all have hierarchies. And what I mean by that is, is that I feel like the teams that sell the most or are doing the best are at the forefront of, you know, the company. That's how they, that's kind of how they do it. And what I mean by that is, is today Hasbro announced a new pricing structure along with a whole pipeline of new figures. Now, I want to talk about the pricing structure first because I do think that, that is very, very important. Uh, so they're going to have three new SKUs when it comes to Marvel Legends. And the reason why I say that that Hasbro Classified is at the forefront because, again, they are the ones that are piloting this new SKU structure. And I do believe that in the future, if this goes well, which I don't see any reason why it wouldn't go well, other than the starting point, that... Uh, going forward all the other brands star wars marvel legends indiana jones whatever will probably follow the same structure and what i mean by that is the deluxe the you know standard figure and pet deluxe or two packs or three packs whatever the case may be i definitely think that you know if this works out that you know hasbro will start doing this going forward for all their brands and again the reason why i know this because again same thing kind of you know happened with my old company that i used to work for you know our team was at the forefront of the company and we used to do a lot of sales we used to do a lot of uh we used to have a lot of great customer service feedback things of that nature so whenever any new product or any new item that came out or anything that needed to be you know test run we were the team that did that because again we were at the forefront and i kind of feel like that's what's been going on with uh gi joe and um hasbro and again that's just my opinion i don't have anything to back that up it's just a feeling but anyway so the standard wave uh which are 24.99 each will have uh copperhead bazooka torpedo shipwreck and rock and roll like again those are the standard wave figures and again the, the next one level up will be $34.99, and those will be figures kind of like Snow Job. And again, currently he is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Uh, the next SKU is uh, $44.99, and that is considered a figure slash pet deluxe. And they announced Scrap Iron with the drone and then the blast effect, and that's going to be the $44.99. And then we also had the uh, figure two packs, and I think the only one he had really announced so far was the female um, Valkyries, AKA female Cobra Troopers. Uh, and those are gonna be $54.99. Now again, when I heard this, I thought this was perfect, okay? Like I thought this was a brilliant idea. And let me tell you why. Now, I am the kind of individual, now again, I still don't like that $24.99 price tag because it looks to me like that is going to be the new standard. So Marvel Legends, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, whatever Hasbro item comes out, it looks like the new standard is going to be $24.99. It doesn't look like that's going to change anytime soon. Again, I am not happy with that, but again, I am going to vote with my wallet and I will only pay that $24.99 if it's worth it, in my opinion. That's just how I am. I'm not going to, and the reason why I say that, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll do a slight jump and pause and that's the reason why I stopped collecting Marvel Legends. So like, and, and I shouldn't say stop collecting Marvel Legends. I stopped spending as much money on Marvel Legends. So like 2021, 2022, I spent thousands of dollars on Marvel Legends alone. I mean, in between the 90s X-Men and, you know, just the MCU wave stuff, I was buying Marvel Legends literally every other day, if not every, every day. Like literally anytime anything was coming out, like I was buying it. Boom, boom, boom. I spent so much money. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But that's when everything was priced at like $19.99. So when things are priced at $19.99, you can make decisions like that. You can just, I can walk into a Target and see a figure and be like, oh, it's, oh, this, this is here. Oh, I'm missing this one. I'm gonna pick it up. $19.99. Boom, get you. $24.99 and, and $21.99, $23.99. For Marvel Legends, when you start looking at that stuff, then you start to you start to be like, oh, do I really need this figure? And that's what the issue is. The issue is, is that Hasbro, I feel like, is not paying attention to the value cost perspective. Now, what do I mean by that? So in order for, for, for forever, for five plus years, 
that people have been or, or longer that people have been collecting Marvel Legends, things have kind of been at the 1999 price point, you know, things like that. So now because of the recession, COVID, blah, 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 Hasbro has seen this as an opportunity, you know, inflation to raise their prices. And again, how much of that is just them being greedy versus them actually having um, supply chain issues is, is up for debate. But again, they raised their price to $24.99. Now the question is, are these figures worth $24.99? And in my humble opinion, most Marvel Legends are not worth that $24.99 price tag. Uh, again, the deco is wrong most times. Again, there's always issues. And on top of that, the value of the accessories that have been added in with uh, Marvel Legends is just not there. So, like, I I honestly have not been buying Marvel Legends in probably well over a year. Like, I think I recently bought a couple of uh, Marvel Legend figures that I got on sale. So, like, uh, they put the... Um, what if wave on um clarence and i was able to pick up miss marvel uh what's the hawkeye the female hawkeye chick and then um she hulk and i think i got all of those for like 25 dollars. i think they were they were put on sale for like a ten dollars and under and then or something like that Anyway, the, that was the last time I had bought some Marvel Legends stuff. But other than that, like the uh, the wave with uh, Bone Crusher, like all these, like the last like four or five waves, I haven't really touched anything Marvel Legends. Whereas in like 2021, 2022, uh, the beginning of 2022, um, I was pretty much buying everything. But then I just kind of stopped. Once those price hikes started getting up to like $24.99, I just stopped because I was like, I'm not giving you all that kind of money. It's just It's just not happening. So let's go ahead and um, take a quick look at some of these items. Again, I, I'm not going to go through a lot of detail. Again, we have a tunnel rat here. It looks amazing. He even comes with his little uh, spotlights that can attach to his backpack. He also comes with a visor that has uh, lights on it. He comes with a revolver, a knife, uh, and a uh, LMG with a removable clip. Again, he looks awesome. Uh, we also got the uh, retro version of um, Firefly. Again, instead of the drone, this time they gave him a uh, RC car, RC bomb car. They also gave him an SMG. They gave him some bombs. They gave him some night vision goggles, and they still have the same backpack. Honestly, I can't remember who this is, but he has a... I really do like that sniper rifle configuration. Somebody tell me who this is in the um, comment section below. Uh... Actually, that is low, that's low light. That's that's who this is. He comes with a rifle bag. The rifle um, rifle itself breaks down, and the goggles can come off. Now, here's the one that surprised me because apparently this is a new guy, Shadow Tracker, and he actually has like this little cool like ghost spot deco. You know, he has the skull mask. He has a the recurve bow. He has an axe. He has like a um, arrow. You know. A lot of stuff is reused, but he looks super duper cool. Uh, it would be awesome if that uh, that yellow mask actually glowed in the dark. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Up next, we have uh, Torpedo. Looks great. Comes with a lot of uh, accessories. SMG, harpoon gun, a knife, flippers, his uh, breathing mask, all the jazz. And again, there's also the Bazooker, Copperhead, Shipwreck, and then Rock and Roll. All of these guys are um, up for pre-order as of 1 p.m. EST. And again, here are just some pictures of the deluxe uh, scrap iron with his drone. Looking amazing. And here, and here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So this scrap iron with the drones and blast effects for $44.99... You cannot tell me that that's not value. That's not value. You cannot tell me that that's not value. You get the figure. You get the uh, your drone, and you get blast effects, and those blast effects are uh, transferable to the other people in the line. Stop it, man! This is exactly what I've been asking for. I'm giving you your flowers, Hasbro, because this is exactly what I'm talking about. I am the kind of person where, when it comes to my money, 
I need that value to cost analysis, right? You can't tell me, hey, you're going to pay $24.99 for this Marvel Legends figure that basically comes with an extra pair of hands. But then at the same time, you can tell me that the same Thor figure that was like a Walmart exclusive that came with like a, 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 a crow that came on this side. He came with a Monir effects. I mean, that, that was probably one of the best looking uh, Thors that we got last year. And I'm and, and but they're on the same skew. Like it didn't make any sense to me. So like to me, I was like, make it make sense. How are you charging twenty four ninety nine, but you're not actually giving us more? So like if you're going to give us more, then I am okay with you charging me more. And and this skew thing is the best of both worlds because they can get more money, but at least we know that we're getting more value out of that extra cost. And that's the kind of stuff that I want to see because expect between scrap iron and the drone, along with the female Valkyrie things, those were the two that I saw. And I was like, I want those. Now, again, I will say with the Valkyrie figures, a lot of this stuff, it looks like it's reused, like especially those blast effects. All of those blast effects are the same blast effects that came with the, uh, uh, the, the Viper two, the Viper three pack, right? So all those, if you want those blast effects, you either have to buy this two pack or you have to get the Viper three pack. So again, under normal circumstances, I would be upset because I'm like, oh, you guys are just reusing the same thing. Cause again, let's be honest, those backpacks, those SMGs, those LMGs, all of this stuff is reused. Like a lot of, the, I know the sculpt of the bodies are brand new, but the accessories that they come with is a, a bunch of reused stuff. But again, it looks amazing. I want it. I just, and again, I have no issues playing, paying the $54.99 for that. To me, that is worth it. And again, here's another close up look. This reminds me of the female um, ninja two pack, well, the, the ninja two pack, where you got the male ninja and the female ninja, and they both came with those like really cool oni masks. I did a review for that. You guys can, you know, check that out. Uh, that is, this is giving me that vibes, and I and I'm 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 for it. Fifty four ninety nine. I'm in. And again, here are some more uh, shots of that. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all for it. All right, now here we go with Snowjob, who is at the SKU of $34.99, who is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Again, they put their foot on this one. Like Again, this is the kind of stuff that I want to see. Because with G.I. Joe, the two things that I love about Classified is the loadouts. And I also love the fact that all of the items that these figures come with, they can usually all fit on the actual person. So like with Snow Job, you know, you see here, he has his ski, he got his skis on his feet. He also has his backpack that has his, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not a skier, so ski poles. Again, his, his backpack, you know, he comes with multiple versions of his hood. He comes with alternate head, he comes with goggles, he comes with a sniper rifle and a pistol. I mean, this guy looks freaking amazing, okay? So that's kind of um, what I wanted to touch base on as far as like the new reveals from G.I. Joe. There was a couple of other stuff, but again, you guys can easily go out and, you know, check that stuff out yourself. So in my mind right now, they also came out with pipeline only reveals, which was Quick Kick, Big Boa, and the Mutton Junkyard. Again, honestly, what I would love to see is Metalhead from G.I. Joe Extreme. I know that this is a, uh, a deep cut, but again, if we're getting uh, people like Big Boa and Mutton Junkyard, we should be able to get Metalhead. And again, for those who don't know who Metalhead is, he is a Cobra uh, assassin when he has like rockets strapped to his back and his, uh, his waist. And I think his catchphrase is something, something goes bang. It, it, I've, I've mentioned him multiple times. I'm still waiting on Metalhead. Hasbro, make it happen. Even though I know you guys will probably never listen to this video. <laughs> All right. So the next topic, let's talk about Hasbro and their financials and just their pricing strategy. Let's just get into the nitty gritty of this other stuff. All right. So this back in October of last year, Hasbro, there was an article that came out that said Hasbro had missed their uh, quarterly targets. 
I believe it looks like it said that, um, and, and again, I'll just read a really quick um, excerpt from the actual article. It says, Hasbro stock took a hit after the toy maker reported a weak third quarter result and the CEO, Chris Cooks, warned that consumers are showing resistance to higher toy prices, which is true. Because again, as I just said, at certain point, people are going to be like, we're not paying for this anymore. Like there was a, I, I definitely thought at like 1999 and even 2199, people would still make a decision of, I will pick this up. But at 24.99, nah, they're not going to do it. They're not going to, we're not going to go out there and just pick up garbage just because you guys want to say that inflation is the reason why you did it. Not going to happen. Not in my opinion, at least. Again, it says Hasbro had indicated that at an investor's day two weeks ago that their quarter would be weaker than originally forecasted, but the results released today and the accompanying conference call raised concerns that toy will see sales drops due to inflation. So as a quick reminder, the net revenue for that quarter was about $1.68 billion, and that was down 15% from the third quarter of 2021 or 12% after adjusting for the foreign, foreign currency and exchange. Uh, that is crazy. So on average, Hasbro is making a billion and a half dollars every three months. That is crazy. But again, when you're dealing with this business, it's not enough to just be making money. You, They want to see increased growth year over year that's how businesses function right so this is where i kind of slip into a little bit where it's consumer versus companies right so as a consumer you read that article and the first thing you say is they made over a billion dollars in three months they should be happy with those results why are they why don't why would they care about anything else they should just keep doing things as is and you know just lower the prices make the customers happy but what you guys have to understand it from a business perspective you want to see sustained growth. You don't want to just maintain the status quo. Every single year, investors want to make more money. That is just how the world works. Maintaining the status quo is not going to be enough. So in order for you guys to get what you want, these companies need to get what they want. So there is a balance that needs to be made between the consumer, us, and the businesses, Hasbro. So before I move on to the other toy news that I have, um, the last thing I want to say about this whole consumer versus uh, corporation slash company thing is, is this. So in the heads of consumers, customers, our primary function is to try and get what we want for as cheap as possible, right? That's that's kind of how the brain of a consumer works. Well, most consumers, they don't think outside of the box of their own selfishness. And again, I'm not I shouldn't maybe selfishness isn't the right word that I should be using, because, again, trying to get something for cheap is not a bad thing. I do that all the time. As a, Again, as a reseller, my goal is to find products to sell as cheap as possible and then sell them and get as much money as humanly possible. What do I mean by that? I can go to thrift stores and if I can find a DVD player, DVD VCR combo, if I can go to the to the thrift store, find a DVD VCR combo for $6, buy that and then sell it on eBay for $100. Why why wouldn't I do that? But what tends to happen is is that consumer or other people will come out and they would be like hey you're a scalper because you uh dvd vcr combo you should be able to find that online for super cheap but again like these, these are the these are the things that people say when they want to try to um out scammers or they don't like the prices they they call them scalpers they call them scammers and then blah 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 but what they don't realize is that that's just how business works, right? You have a product, I have a product, you want my product, I give you a price, you can either buy that product at my price or you can move on and try to find it cheaper, right? I don't understand why it's so difficult for people to vote with their wallet. Again, just like I said earlier, I have not 
actively been buying Marvel Legends in over a year. Like, I have literally skipped the last four to five waves. And I have no issue doing that because, again, I know that in my eyes, I don't think the base level Marvel Legends are worth the cost that they're they're charging for. And again, this is coming from somebody who buys Moffax, who buys SH Figure Arts. I buy higher end toys. So it's not like I'm one of these people who are just cheap and who only buy lower class figures. I buy as low as like dollar store action figures and I buy up as hot as as high as like hot toys. You know what I'm saying? So like I have the spectrum. Like I literally just spent like four hundred dollars on a Gurren Logan uh action figure. So like again, I I if the product is good enough and it has enough accessories, if I find the value is there, I have no problem spending the money to get what I want. And that's just basically how my brain works. And if it's something that I don't like or if it's something that I don't agree with, I might voice my opinion, but I'm not going to sit there and call people scalpers. I'm not going to sit here and bash other people and call and just, you know, just be be an asshole essentially. And, what I, and I guess what I want you guys to understand is that a goal for a company is to make money. That is their primary function of any corporation worth its soul. It is to make more money year over year, satisfy the needs of the investors, and grow. That is the number one goal of the company. The goal of a toy company is not to make sure little johnny bobby or susie can make sure that that individual person has their action figure for a super cheap price if they can actually make the customers happy and still sell them a product of course that's the best case scenario for them but all in all at the end of the day as long as you guys are buying that's what they want now the reason why i mention that because again at face value you would say to yourself that's exactly duh duh show enough we we know that companies whole goal is to make money. But if you actually listen to the consumers, you would actually notice that because again, they're always trying to bring morals into the argument. They're always trying to say, oh, Hasbro is not fair. They should give us this for free and they should do this. They are already making so much money. Why do they got to charge so much when they're making a billion dollars every three months? Because that's the whole goal of a company is to make a, as much money as humanly possible. Their goal is not to make you happy as an individual. And that's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. Like the goal of this company is not to make you happy as an individual. Their goal is to make as much money as possible by providing a good product, by building trust. All of those things matter. Like when it comes to, you know, brand awareness and, you know, maintaining a relationship with a customer there are there are the three things that make sense brand awareness the authenticity of the company and just the trust that the company has with the community now again if well and again let me be let me be clear when i say trust i mean being transparent being upfront about things so again i'll give you an example hasbro coming out and saying hey here's going to be the new pricing structure here are the new ladder skews that we're going to be going with going further in the future. I'm pretty sure there were a lot of people who didn't like that or who were probably upset about it, but I respect and I trust the fact that Hasbro put that information out there and they're just like, hey, this is what it is. Take it or leave it. This is our strategy. This is what's going to be going on for right now. Again, do I still think that $24.99 should be the bottom row tier? No. I, I think for classified that might work with certain figures, but for Marvel Legends, no. Twenty four ninety nine is just way too much. I think for Marvel Legends, honestly, those should probably be like twenty one ninety nine if they want to still. But 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 again, that's just because Marvel Legend figures typically don't have the same amount of accessories as GI Joe classified. Is the reason why I say that. All right, so that's enough about Hasbro as far as like the live stream and just my thoughts on that go uh if you guys remember i i i got into a beef a couple months ago with articulated ninja talking about this has lab hell charger that you guys were cursing me out in the comment section and you know the has lab ended up failing uh another company has stepped up and try is trying 
to create the Hell Charger. And this company is called Ramen Toys. This is a company that I know very well. Um, they they deal in uh, retro toys, right? Small scale company. They probably sell about four to five hundred uh, figures at a time. Well, that's according to their own website from the uh, Centurions line. I got the Silverhawk uh, from them. Uh, but again, they came out and they said that they were in the process of uh, doing the HasLab uh, Hell Charger. And again, I just want to show you guys a couple of pictures, but then I want, again, I want to kind of discuss. So the funny thing is, is that the biggest issue that people had with me is that they, in Articulated Ninja's argument, was that they were saying that Hasbro was being uh, price gouging. $350 for the Hell Charger, Robbie Reyes, all those accessories, and then all of those unlocks was not worth $350. I, on the other hand, said that absolutely this was worth $350 because, again, the price to make these toys is not cheap. Everybody yelled at me. Everybody screamed at me. Everybody was sitting. I shouldn't say everybody because they did have a lot of people defending me. Uh, but there were a lot of you guys who came from Articulated Ninja's uh, video and tried to bash me and tried to tell me I know what I was talking about, blah, blah, blah. But here we go, all these months later, and yes, show enough was proven right. So here's what I mean. Ramen Toys has come out and they have said that they're going to be doing the Hell Charger. Now, here is the cost of the Hell Charger. In order for them to be able to make this Hell Charger a possible uh, possibility, they have to get at least 2,000 units sold. 5,000 units is what they really need. Keep in mind, Hasbro needed a minimum of 9,000 at 350 in order to get this thing funded. Ramen Toys needs at least 2,000, and the cost is $175 USD. That's if you get in on an early bird special, but if you don't, it's going to be $250, only $100 less than what they were charging, what the Hasbro was charging for. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They, Ramen Toys is charging $250, which is $100 cheaper than the classified HasLab, I said classified HasLab, the HasLab Hell Charger. I'm just slurring my words right now. I, I promise I'm not drunk. <laughs> so what I was arguing is, is that for 350, you get the Hell Charger, you get Robbie Reyes, you get all the accessories, you get the lights, you get the flame effects, and you get all these unlocks. I was saying that that was worth it. But now people are just like, wait a minute, you should be able to buy this thing and look at this uh, Bratz card that only costs $19.99 and look at this, you know, comparing shit that ain't got nothing to do with what we were talking about. And everybody was like, oh yeah, any other company should be able to come out this and it'd be like a hundred something dollars. No, $250, $175 if you do early bird. And they need at least a minimum of 2000 units sold. So I'm gonna read really quickly a quick excerpt from their website so you guys can um, kind of understand where their mind is at so that you guys can kind of understand where, where, what I'm talking about. So it says, we are working on putting the various flame effects into the uh, Hell Charger. They said, we have already indicated the sales price of 250 USD based on initial calculations. If we can get 5,000 units ordered, that price will come down, but we have only ever sold 1,500 units of anything in our lifetime. So 5,000 units is uh, but a dream. Hence, to be realistic, we are looking to achieve 2,000 units of sales at $250 per unit. Bearing in mind, we offer an early bird of the 250, which means that we're only looking at $175 with a minimum of 2,000 units sold. And again, they remind us that their uh, Centurions, Apache Commander, or, or whatever that, that commander came from, had only sold 450. So they are very apprehensive about reaching such a goal. And then they say, and therefore we can only hope for sharing this project and reaching the 5,000 um, backers or 2,000 backers or the 9,000 backers that HasLab had. And now here's the thing that I will say that I do think that it's probably a mistake on Ramen Toys parts. On their Hell Charger, their Hell Charger comes in three different models. And the versions, there can be a version that comes with the flame effects. There can be a version that comes with the engine that comes out of the front. There's a version that you can do new doors. You can do uh, 
different colors. Like you can skew all of these ways and you can just get them each at 175. Now the issue that I had with that is I felt, I initially thought that the Hell Charger itself was just gonna come with all those configurations and you can just basically build and, and customize your own Hell Charger however you want. So like I thought you were gonna get the chassis, you're gonna get the three different hoods, you're gonna get the, the lights and all of that other stuff and you can just mix and match, pull it off, put it on, things like that. But what they're saying is, is that you can, you just have three different versions. Now, all the versions will light up and they will have um, sounds. So you will get engine noises, you will get things like that. It's just not gonna be the polish or the extra figures that you got with HasLab. And that's the issue that I'm trying to get, that I was trying to explain to you guys like six plus months ago when the HasLab was first announced. I was trying to explain to people, I'm like, when you are these companies, there it is, it is very, very expensive to get these molds. It's very, very expensive for these licenses. It's, making toys is not a cheap thing. So when I when I was hearing people talking about, oh, the Bratz car only cost twenty dollars, and you're trying to charge, like that's what was frustrating because I'm like, you guys don't understand how things cost, how much things cost. You guys are only thinking with your limited mindset, and you are just sitting there saying that, oh, Hasbro shouldn't be charging this much for that. Based on what? Like what, what 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 are you basing that that Hasbro shouldn't be charging this on on what? So now people are looking at this two hundred and fifty or one hundred and seventy five dollars, and they're like, this is still too expensive. At least Hasbro Hasbro's version came with you know five figures, and it came with Robbie Reyes, and it came with the uh, you know thing blah blah blah. And I'm like, where was all this when y'all had the opportunity to buy for three fifty? But now that you see that the other company is trying to get it to come out at 175 or 250 and then now you guys are going back and talking about oh hasbro oh this is a, this is a ripoff hasbro had at least all this other stuff in it if that's how you felt you should have just supported the 350 is what i'm trying to say <laughs> so in the end what i'm trying to get at is is that i i would love it if you guys would go to facebook go to ramentoys.com and make sure you guys are following them so that when this Hell Charger does get announced and the uh, campaign gets started, that they can get the 2,000 units available. And again, if they are able to sell more than 2,000 units, the price will go down even more. And again, that's what I'm saying. The more units that you sell, the cheaper you can um, produce it at and make it cheaper for everybody else. But again, as I stated earlier, they've only ever sold 1,500 units of anything in their entire lifetime. This is a very, very small company, but at least they're trying. So again, check them out. Facebook, Ramen Toys. Uh, I definitely think that this Hell Charger can happen. Again, I do think that there is more opportunity for them to approve upon on the value. I definitely think that if they were to give us everything and not just have us pick out from three different versions, that they will have a better chance of getting this funded. But again, we'll see what they need to do. But let me know what you guys think. I know I've been going on for almost 40 minutes, but again, like I said, I have not done a video like this in months. So I wanted to make sure that I touch base on everything and I'm pretty sure I forgot something, but uh, I can make another video about that later. Again, like I said, thank you guys so much for your support. Please make sure you are following me on TikTok at Showing Up The King. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.